Hi, my name is Veronica Barker Barzell. I am currently in Printmakers Inc., which is in the third floor, 320, um, 325. And then I also have another studio space that's 320, that's two doors down. So today I'm gonna do a short little demo on stencil silk screening, where a lot of silk screening, you have to use photo emulsion and other chemicals to get your image on there. And if you don't have access to all that, you can use paper. In this case, I've used Mylar, which is a little bit of a thicker plastic. So um, you draw your image and then you use an X-Acto knife to carve it out. And you want to try to make sure that things are all connected because the ink is going to be going through the space, through the, the holes, basically. So one thing I've done is there's a couple loose pieces that could kind of flop up when I'm printing. So I've added just a little bit of scotch tape to hopefully hold it to the screen. So this is a silk screen, not necessarily made out of silk and you want to put your stencil on the flat part. Um, kind of make sure the take down areas is as much secured as it can be. And then you can use any tape. It's probably not scotch tape, but um, packing tape. works to so this right here serves two purposes where it holds the stencil down but it also stops the ink from coming through the edges Now with the stencil silk screening, it's never quite accurate because there's a lot of ink that could be pushed through the open areas, but that's okay. So with the screen, I've also used packing tape for the edges here, and that also helps kind of keep the screen tight. And you also don't get the ink going into the edges where you don't want it. Um, I'm going to use this to hold the screen in place, but if you don't have this at home, if you have two people, basically one person can hold it down while you screen it and then lift it up, but this is just convenience for me at this moment in time. So if you're, um, if you don't, even if you don't have this, you kind of want to have another maybe a, like a piece of cardboard underneath just as a cushion as you're pushing the ink through. Um, yeah, so I have some silk screening ink. It's kind of a strange color. And this here is a squeegee. So basically you wanna flood your screen first. And you put it down over your paper. And here you're just basically pushing the ink through your screen. an image. So the image is a it's a mermaid with bunny ears. It can work any time of year. The Torpedo Factory is open and the artists are working in our studios. We would love to see your faces if possible. 
Um, we have sell several holiday gifts and handmade holiday cards, ranging from Christmas to Hanukkah, um, and everything in between. So we would love you guys to come down and check us out. And we're here to answer your questions and show you how the process is made.